Hi guys and welcome again. This is Design with AC. As we all know, in this video, I want to show you step by step way of importing your PLP file, that's your Pizza Lab, lab file, to Pizza Lab on your PC. So let's say someone share the dot PLP file to you, and you want to import it and edit so and make some changes to it using Pizza Lab on your PC. Then this is how you can do that. What you have to do is to go to this downside, you can see, go here first, you can see here, then go to, go to this, uh, this other icon, then here you can see all your PLP file. So if you click on the dot PLP file, they will take, take you to this place like this. So if you can see, you don't know any of this folder where the dot PLP file is. So what you are going to do is this, okay? So let me quickly show you. So let's go back and let's talk about how you can do that. So to do that, this is what you can do. You will have to transfer the, the PRP file to your system first, okay? Then after transferring that to your system, then you will open up the blue stack app that we have, we have, uh, we are using. So um, open up the blue stack app. So when you open up this blue stack app, you are going to see this interface. So on this interface, you can see the system apps. Okay, see the system apps. Click on that and it will open. So here you can see media manager. So you can see media manager just click on that and the media manager will open for you like this so from this media manager this is what you are going to do because you have to import this file first before we can use it import it because we install this blue stack on our system like an android uh, version on the system so files in our system is not on this android um blue stack on the system so you have to import file from your system manager to this android app on on the system i don't know if you understand that so let me quickly show you now so at this downside you can see import so we have uh, the import option here import from windows export to windows so you can export file from this blue stack to your windows and uh, you can import from your windows to this blue stack so to import the file you simply click, click on import from windows so if i should click on that it's going to give me option to go to my windows and import a file that i want to use so this is the time you have to go and look for the uh, PRP file, the folder that you you, you, you sent this PRP file to on your system. So that is what I am going to do, do now. So I'm going to look for the file. Okay, look at the file. So I'll select the file, then go down here and click on open. And that file is going to be imported like this. So you can see it's important. So if it's 10 that you're importing, you select the 10 and import it. So now the file has been imported. So look at the file here. So look at the file here. This is the file. Okay, this is the file. So what we are going to do now is to go back to our pizza lab and um, import it. So to do that, click this is the minimize button. So if I should minimize this window, I can uh, simply go to my pizza lab, click on it if your pizza lab is open. So now we can import this. So let me close this. Let's go to normal. This. All right. So to import that, you can go to this icon, click on that, and you can see the import. So now go to the .plp file here. Just click on the .plp file and it will show up this window. So what we are going to do is to click on this arrow, this arrow pointing up. So now go to your um, DCIM, just click on that and you will see shared folder. Click on the shared folder and you can see the file, the Jabbet prayer, which is the .plp file. Select that and it will show you this. So they are saying open project um, this. Do you want to add it to your project as well? So if you want to add it to the list of your project, you click on open and add. But if you want to just open it on your Pizza Lab, um, it means that anytime you want to use this, you have to open it again. You have to import it again. So I want to open, use the option open and add. So I'm going to click on open and add. And it's going to open up like this. So it just give me time it will load. You can see it's blank now. So just give me time it to load out all the images. So you can see. So this is the simple way. You can quickly um, tap on any of this and edit, change the images and all that. So this is a simple way of importing your uh, .pip file to your system using Pizza Lab. I'll see you guys in my next video.